everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is day one of our awesome 30 day flute boot camp series and I'm really excited. Today is the day we kick off on this exciting adventure. We are going to start today at looking at the process of how do you get back into your playing. If you're like me, you maybe have had a little bit of a break over this holiday season. Um, I had a very hectic concert schedule to just before Christmas last year, and I've been taking it a bit easier, and I'm really kind of overdue to get seriously back into my playing. And it's always this challenge of like, how do we actually get back into playing when we have had a bit of a break? I think my big message today that I want to share with all of you is take it slow, take it easy, and small baby steps, and above all, be kind to yourself. Be gentle and kind with yourself. I know there are many of you that maybe are easing back into your playing after 10, 20 years of not playing. I've, I've had many subscribers that have written me about similar stories like this. And one of the biggest problems is dealing with tension. When we have had a break from the flute or from making music generally, we have to kind of combat this whole world of tension because these muscles, especially our facial muscles, are getting back into, you know, this music making thing we have this clear idea of what our sound was like, how we do usually sound or how we did sound. And it's just all not sounding quite the same as it used to. And this can be so frustrating. And as a result, we just get more and more like tense and caught up and angry and frustrated. I've recently been playing around with a really fun idea to counteract this tension. And basically what I do is I decide, okay, today's day one and all we are doing is warming up today. Like that is my job for today. I don't have to do any hectic technical exercises yet. It's a Sunday and I'm just warming up because you know what? I'm taking it easy and I'm being kind to myself. So I've got a very specific warm up routine. Uh, my patrons know it. There's more of it coming this month. But whatever warm-up routine you do use, I made a video recently about exactly this, where you can look at several different warm-up ideas. But whatever it is that you do usually use, we're going to start the warm-up. So, we go for it. Now, it's my like first time playing today. I'm feeling all shaky. I'm feeling all like... Ugh. And what I do is I actually stop once I'm feeling like the tension is building up. I can feel that tension coming along and I'm going to stop. And I'm actually going to start doing physical stretches and warm-ups. So starting off by maybe just rotating your wrists, which is really nice. You can also just rotating your neck very gently around, doing nice shoulder rolls. Just anything or anywhere in your body where you're feeling like a little bit achy perhaps, or you're feeling a bit tense or a bit tight, just doing some nice movement exercises stretch kind of stuff if you want to do more kind of real stretch stuff that's also great but just a little bit and then you carry on whatever you were in your warm-up and honestly I'm already feeling better like I'm already feeling my sound is much more kind of calm and, and stable calm not the right word but it's much more kind of focused and and easy not shaking so much my body's starting to feel better it feels also like kind of like my body's like hey good morning I'm waking up here so maybe again okay I've had a little break now I'm gonna carry on do a few more stretches a few more rolls get my body moving maybe I even want to sort of you know like get my lower body moving when you know like there is no right or wrong movement here I think it's just really about getting in touch with this whole awesome instrument that is part of this flute playing experience, which is your body, because that is part of playing the instrument. You know, I always say to my students, your flute's not going to play itself. It needs this thing to play it. So we've got to look after it. Anyway, getting back into my movement and I carry on with my exercise. And moving again. So, you know, you might feel a little bit like a crazy person today. And that's cool. That's totally fine. Because you know what? We've got to keep reminding ourselves this is about keeping it easy, about easing back into it. Not about putting this excessive pressure on ourselves to suddenly, like, be the next virtuoso in one day. This is a journey, guys. It's going to be a 30-day long journey. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be lots of really, like, juicy, exciting work. But we need to start off gently. Okay everybody that was day one of our series. Tomorrow we are continuing on this journey. I am really excited. Remember there is a kind of newsletter, specific flute boot camp newsletter, uh, where I'm going to be updating you guys on the different exercises. It kind of helps you keep track of everything. 
uh, and also like a little bit of encouragement that I'll throw into that. So sign up for that so you can also kind of keep up to date with what's going on. Also on Instagram, I'm going to be posting little videos and pictures of this process. And of course, for my patrons, there's always going to be a little extra something for you guys as well in this process. So for any of you who'd like to get onto the patron system, you can either just ask me directly about it or go check it out. The link is below. Until then, everyone, happy practicing and see you tomorrow.